Hello West Ham Network, it's Holly and I'm here with your Hammers headlines for today, Wednesday the 10th of April, running association with KUMB.com. <laughs> Ham Network. Today we are going to be chatting about that Tim Stighton interview and unfortunate under 21's result and Thomas Suchek's head injuries. So let's get started. First up, Tim Stighton has done an interview with NWZ Online where he has spoken passionately about the club as well as putting any rumours about rifts behind the scenes to rest. Great news. So he began by speaking very proudly of West Ham and how happy he is, saying, I am euphoric at every game and every training session because I feel that I'm in the right place in the right league. And he also spoke about initially being very keen to have full control over everything that's happening at West Ham. And this being quite a stark change for Sullivan Moyes and himself to work out, saying, I wanted to have overall responsibility. I wanted to take control myself so it was a stark change for all three so it's clearly been a learning curve for all three of them to work together and know how to have their own input for the best of the club but then he went on to explain that they have been able to work really well as a team that benefits everyone, adding, David Moyes, I think, noticed through my transfers that my work was important, which obviously we've all seen it has been very important. And he also said, conversely, I learned an incredible amount from him when it comes to perspectives on football. So where we've been worrying that there's conflict behind the scenes, Tim sounds pretty happy, which is great to hear. And on top of this, it appears that Stuyton would be happy to make this a long term project, understanding the importance of being being at a club for years and years, adding a squad restructuring is always a four to five year project. I was at Verde for 18 years and could probably have worked there longer, but I also wanted to experience something different and never have to say to myself, I should have done that. But what I experienced in England is particularly good for my development. So by the sounds of it, he's happy in London. He's happy at West Ham and he's well aware that for him to actually make a difference, he needs to be here for a long time, which is what we like to hear, especially when there are rumours of other people lurking around trying to get his signature. And so far, Stuyton's involvement at West Ham has been fantastic, bringing top talent to our club and helping to get signings over the line. And with summer rapidly approaching, he will be hard at work behind the scenes, I'm sure, to make sure that we can hit the ground running when the transfer window opens. And now things are sounding positive, like we've worked out how much input everyone has behind the scenes, as well as Stuyton talking about being happy, plus talking about how projects take time. So it's all sounding pretty good. For your second story, West Ham's under-21s faced PSV in their first ever Premier League International Cup semi-final, but unfortunately missed out an additional time in the Chigwell Construction Stadium. So the Young Hammers took the lead in the 13th minute with Swire's finish into the top corner. For anybody that's not seen this goal, and also Lewis Orford. So just quickly, Swire, that was his second goal in two games he's doing well at the moment but Lewis Orford if you've not seen the goal you need to watch it he collected the ball about 25 yards out and he fired the ball into the top corner again to make it 2-0 Mason Terry then saved a penalty from PSV to retain our two goal lead as we went into the break and things were looking very very positive however in the 47th minute in true West Ham style PSV pulled one back and with very tired legs they equalised in the 88th minute in the 91st minute there was a late goal from the PSV captain in, which saw the game end, unfortunately, 3-2. It is a real shame, but we do have some very exciting talent coming through the ranks, and here's hoping they can get a win away on Friday against Norwich. And finally, Thomas Suchek went on Ironcast speaking about head injuries, his helicopter celebration and fans leaving early on the numerous head injuries that he has had over the years. He said, my wife isn't too pleased. She's not happy at all when I come home. She asks, why always you? It's just the person I am. I don't go into the tackles wanting to get hurt, but I want to get the ball despite it being too dangerous. If it's just scratches and stitches, then it isn't that bad. And this is why you can't help but love Suchek. He will always throw himself into a challenge, give 100%, put his body on the line quite literally whenever he's given the opportunity. So those have been your three Hammers headlines for today. As always, make sure you get involved with the conversation by dropping us a comment with your thoughts down below. We're going to be using some of these in a React video very soon as well. So make sure you get those opinions out there. As always as well, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it because we'd love to see how much you like our different videos and make sure you've subscribed, of course, to the West Ham Network YouTube channel. Have an amazing rest of your day, whatever you may be up to, wherever you may be, Hammers, all over the world. And until next time, 
come when you irons.